Hello, welcome in. Paramount Trades here. We take a look at the Dow Jones. We'll follow up to last week. Uh, we did a video on Friday or Saturday. We were hoping to follow up midweek, but that never happened. A lot of chaos, a lot of volatility in markets, so we just kind of stayed with it. Um, so the YouTube channel kind of took a back burner. So last week, look at the Dow Jones here. We had noticed, or recognized at least, this extreme shift in sentiment on the six-month index, and then breaking really bullish on the three-year index as well, with commercial interest. So that was one of the ones we flagged, and we said, hey, we, we've got to watch this. There's something going on here, right? So let's put our, uh, our bullish chart up here. We haven't changed the values. This index should read 100. We're just kind of keeping them there. So we can see the shift in sentiment right now a little clear. But 100 is extremely positive. Anything up over 80 is extremely positive for commercial interest. And we said last week we, we needed to watch this. Were we potentially forming a bottom and what was going on? So just looking at the trail of commercial interest on that, on that six-month index, three-year index, looking really bullish up in this territory, Diminishing or relatively low open interest in combination with uh, WPR being oversold and market sentiment being really low, whew, boy, did this thing really go. So nice pivot work in here, right? Higher low on each side. And then we've, get, we've got this um, really bullish candle here. Really bullish candle. If you, if you didn't get into the trade earlier than that and this candle just uh, smashed the high of this uh, pivot low and and there we went so that was a nice I don't know they call that hangman or whatever but we just look for higher lows on each side and a possible or potential pivot and this this candle was really strong so there's the you know there's your your bullish case your bullish combination is what we like to look out for um, let's look just randomly uh, open interest relatively low. Open interest relative diminishing or relatively low. We don't have a six month index back here, unfortunately. Ooh, do we have it here? Yes. Six month index and a three year index looking really high. Diminishing or relatively low. Open interest. And coming up off that oversold. That oversold range. Well, we just didn't quite get there, but it, you know, went up. The market sentiments help us out here. Well, it's on the, it's on the rise. It's definitely on the rise, so. We got some nice price action moving here. You know, this is, you know, all that business is going on in early part of January, coronavirus, this, this, this. And the next thing you know, uh, t you know, call it fundamental or whatever. I just call it straight fear. Um, <clears throat> and panic put into the market, and, and then we just had this heinous retrace. So, you know, looking at this, we haven't broken that daily ATR range to quite get that, you know, that setup. Is it helpful here? I mean, a couple of down days, but nothing to... These were dip-buying opportunities uh, when we did break this range on this on this bullish run within the last year. But the amount of selling off that's been going on. How quickly can this turn around? And we <clears throat> we had we had noticed this before that we we thought there were some, um, for lack of better words, some some definite fuckery going on in this area. With comms getting, I mean, look at this. I mean, whew, what a hike, and over a, a, a five week period too. So we had a nice setup going on with our leading indicator and commercial interest, and then looking at you know, COT. Uh, open interest, William, Williams percentage R, and, and market sentiment. All very well aligned. So we've got our five here, right? And let's just let's just clear this out. And let's just start, from, you know, over again. Because there were some key areas that we had identified that um, we need to get into this trade, right? How can, how can we get into this trade? Oh, so we've got a range low here, right? And then, let's 
strange range higher going on here. I just try to identify some key levels where we said, okay, where? So here's that range low that we got, and we just peg in the bottom of this. This thing did not want to go up, but there's a lot of accumulation and a lot, just a tremendous amount of volatility going on in this market. So what key levels can we watch? I think we finished we finished down on the Dow Jones, but there were so many opportunities, I feel like, to get in on this chart, noticing and recognizing that um, you know, commercials were relatively relatively bullish on this. So we had that implied <clears throat> we had that gap down and then we had the implied open here, at least from what the news hours were saying was, and the implied open was down. But that did not happen. And we had this remarkable start to start to the trading day, uh, I believe on Monday, <clears throat> at market open, that really kind of set the tempo. And then we had this nice bullish W pattern working out for us, so... I like to put my, my downtrend lines here, if you want to call them that in red. We just had this nice W pattern working out for us. <clears throat> and then we broke and found support around, you know, this, this EMA and the 15, which is only an 8. Um, but we do like this. So, you know, when did we clear out this high and then decide that this you know, this was definitely going the other way. If you weren't a buyer in this <clears throat> this bullish setup that was happening here, and, you know, you took the chance, um, you know, on a technical test here of this pivot low in this range, so we get pivot low, we pivot high. We come up with, you know, we sweep these highs, we take out these highs. So these highs are taken, the liquidity is taken. We break back into the range right here, <clears throat> you know, Got a nice setup for um, a nice bearish setup here with a rejection at the top of this range. So you know broke back in and and we couldn't get back up over it. So that we you know looking at you know pivot to pivot. This looks like a nice short term top, and then we ran down. Where do we get that here? Very subtle, if you will. Swing pivot, hardly noticeable. Hardly noticeable on this chart, but with the anticipate with, with this nice W look <clears throat> that I like so much, we did not push lower. We did not push this. Uh, well, this isn't even this isn't even a lower low. This is just higher low, higher low. So we did not get you know a swing. This was, I don't know if unexpected by the market or <clears throat> comps did not feel like. This was an unexpected move. There was a tremendous amount of buying right at right at the gate. We should have known something was up right in, with these two candles. So, I mean, this was the most opportunistic setup I think I probably could have found on the Dow Jones. Uh, and, and the rest is history. So now we've got to at least, you know, can we find a channel... Uh, that we've been, you know, I used to use channels quite often, and, and I kind of got away from it. We need to get back into it, though. So we are in... If this chart remains bullish, this is this potentially a good uh, buy area. But we've got to watch for a breakdown here. But I would also be cautious for a you know, breakdown lower, and then, you know, dip back into it get back up into that channel. Oh, but what do we have here? Um, so I, I think when we had drew this up before, we had a high pivot here, high of the range, and that was, and then we had marked off that this was kind of, you know, our low of the range. So we, we break up, clear out, looks like we get a lot of trap longs going on up in here. So there's, there's definitely a lot of liquidity going on up in these parts. 
I think there's just, I mean, everybody thought this was going much higher, but it was a little premature. So here's here's the bottom of that range, and we once we broke back into this range, this was this was a nice good sell setup right here. Break back into the range, right at that median line of the uptrend channel. Uh, you know, a lot of fighting going on here, and, and we retrace. And, and bulls you know, find a little bit of dominance on this chart. It didn't quite get that W look that we usually like, um, but outer bounds of the channel, lots of um, lot, lots of fist fighting going on about price action. We do break up a little higher. We do get back up into this channel range, but can't hold it. Can't hold it, and now we're and now we're retracing a bit. So, in in the totality of of, of this, how far? Will this retrace if it's going to remain a, a bullish chart? I think a break of the channel is probably. I don't know that you can. I don't know that you clear out. Not without a fight, but it, it certainly could. We've seen with with what's going on in the market right now. Can they break this? We we came down, tested this area. And we got a nice little. Uh, Turn to the upside here. Nice little bounce off this support area, but is this thing going to break? Is this support area going to break down? There's not a tremendous amount of confluence going on in this area, unless there's something we just don't see looking left. I probably would say right in this range, you know, there's at, at this price level there might be a little bit more to work with. You know, in terms of market memories, we're going to bounce here, going to bounce here, we're going to rejection, another rejection. Uh, continued rejection here, and uh, the bulls go to work. Whew. Very decisive uh, look to this to the setup. So where do we see a couple of other opportunities to get into this trade? Yeah, you know, I like this look. I like this look quite consistently on the 15 minute. That may just give us some kind of bullish Q. We get this bullish W working in a break. We come back down and retest. So I did. We we did find nice opportunity here, and I think it was on the second candle break that we said, "Oh, well, this is going. This is going. This very decisive. Look at the EMA. Just absolutely climbing. Bulls are in control here. You know, dominance on the chart. <clears throat> so you know, bears did take control up in this area, but how much? I'm gonna watch the outer bounds. So this is this is about 25% uh, from the down, you know, the uptrend line. Um, you know, here's your median, and and here's your, you know, one deviation from it. And we're getting into this territory where it's it could be a really good buy opportunity if this thing's gonna continue. But I would look for a breakdown, and if it does break down, how far it will go. So moving forward, man, boy, what are we looking for? I mean, same story, right? I mean, this looks almost identical. With the exception that we, the range kind of broke down a little bit. Right? You, you, you get your trap longs up in here. Whoop. Yeah. And this is starting to retrace. And you start to get a little nervous. But we never never swept the lows. This would have been nice if these these lows were taken and it took off. But it's just very decisive. I think bulls were very decisive here exactly what they wanted to do. The market was very decisive about what it wanted to do. So get that nice look, right? Get that nice W pattern that we've been paying attention to on a lot of these um, lower time frames and over and over and over again with this nice, you know, bullish W looking with the expectation that we're going to get a higher low over here that we did get and here's your, you know, your intermediate low. It's just whoop. We come up, we pivot, we pivot nicely, and we break away. We did not take out this low. Even though we, it definitely could have. Top of the range, bottom of the range, but we just came up and plowed straight through it. Almost, 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 almost identical too here, right? Well, here's your, you know, your range low. We break through, uh, totally sweep, 
totally take out this high, take this liquidity, and I mean, just so volatile this week, but I'm going to watch here. We're going to watch for a breakdown and a potential top. So here's your, you know, your lower high, your higher high, and your and your lower high here. Is, it a, is that a case for a top? I mean, we, oh, pardon me. Um, I mean, it looks pretty similar, right? Looks pretty similar if you're a bull. I'm going to come down and retest this line, and, you know, away we go. I'll have to see how the market opens next week, but right, right up against that line, uh, a bit better valued area if you're a bull here than the top. And what would we be looking for, which is the highs, to come out and take out the highs? And continue on. This this most certainly could. Uh, with, with with commercial interest is is set at least in a direction as they are right now. You can make it the case that this is this is this will continue. Um, maybe a little selling off on on the Friday close, but look where we are with comms. Unless they get this wrong, open interest not as, nearly as high as it usually is. Up in this territory, a lot of open interest, but now not as much. You know, as we had said before, uh, and in many of our videos, you know, these these four indicators together, market sentiment not as much, but you know, trailing stop, ATR range, um, it, it can only be helpful. So, looking forward, looking forward to the week ahead. Good volatility, good money we got to recognize where the patterns or where the bullish cues are coming from and where the bearish cues are coming from and see if we can align ourselves with the right side of the trade here. That's a little, you know, a little bit of profit taken, a little bit of offset, but nothing, nothing too drastic, I don't believe. And the Dow is just up. It's up. It's up. we got plenty to work with here. Absolutely plenty to work. So I want to thank you for stopping in and uh, enduring the 17-minute video. Maybe fast-forwarded in the end, and that's great. Come and join us on Discord. Plenty to talk about. Um, plenty of trade channels available to communicate with us um, in our Discord community. Download the app if you want. Uh, grab the server address and, and plug it in there. It's easier to stay apprised of what's going on in our postings and, and all of our talk. Hope you find yourself on the profitable side of trade. And we'll see you again on the next video.